Hi, my name is Sahadev Zala. I'm an open source technical leader at IBM and I contribute to various open source uh, projects for more than 12 years. You know, projects like OpenStack, Kubernetes, etcd, PyTorch, and general open source contributions. Uh, open source summit, I can talk, uh, you know, a long uh, time on it, but uh, briefly open source summit uh, is a place uh, where Open source developers, technologies, business leaders, you know, they can collaborate uh, on uh, open source innovation that can solve the real life problems. Uh, you know, we're talking about the, about the big event, uh, you know, thousands of uh, attendees, world-class speakers, attendees from, you know, hundreds of different companies and institutions and from several different countries. Um, also, there are co-located events with Open Source Summit. So, you know, we are talking about wide variety of uh, topic coverage, right? Like AI, cloud, CI, CD, quantum computing, security, and, you know, many different areas. Well, IBM has a, you know, history of supporting open source uh, communities for more than, you know, two decades, a long time, long history of open source uh, uh, commitment. And you know, as part of this, we we at IBM, you know, IBMers attend uh, different kind of uh, open source uh, co conferences. You know, Open Source Summit is one of the premier uh, events uh, by Linux Foundation. So every year, you know, we have lots of folks who who go attend, who you know, uh, present there, you know, and and you know, get engaged in different activities and you know, uh, work with the community. So, um, you know, as an IBMer and as an open source contributor for a long time, I'm very proud and excited about being at Open Source Summit. I'm going there uh, for multiple things. One, as a speaker, uh, I'll be talking on PyTorch, which is a cutting edge framework for machine learning, especially deep learning. Uh, you know, we, we will have big presence from IBM there. So some of the speakers, including, you know, myself, my colleague, Susan Malika, we are also helping uh, and uh, after our AI meetup, and you know, I always love to be at uh, conferences to to meet you know old friends from the community, and I always try to make few new ones, uh, and you know, networking right. Uh, so a lot of reasons to be there. Uh, PyTorch uh, is an is a cutting edge you know de facto framework for machine learning, in particular deep learning, as I said. Uh, it provides you all the building blocks to create your uh, model, your neural network. You know, uh, it provides you implementation of different algorithms for training them. So now, I think PyTorch is one of the technology which has made the AI mainstream. That's what I personally feel. Uh, and you know, people are excited because PyTorch Foundation is still new. Uh, it's less than two years old. So a lot of new things are happening. Uh, PyTorch 2.0, which came last year, uh, you know, with, with some of the new features like torch.compile, new advancement in distributed training, uh, you know, uh, new features supporting uh, various backends. So, you know, a lot of, lot of exciting things happening in the project. So, you know, like I said, AI side, it's PyTorch, uh, which has become, uh, you know, a, a project under PyTorch Foundation now. So a lot of things going on there. Uh, cloud native side, you know, Kubernetes and different projects under Cloud Native Computing Foundation, right? Uh, there are open source uh, development uh, going on in the, you know, in the world of quantum computing as well, right? Uh, you know, in this, in, in other areas like CI, CD, security, uh, you know, so a lot of things are going on uh, and, and, you know, as you see, more and more people are talking about open source, you know. Well, to me, it's very secure. And, you know, there are some mixed discussions, right? But I always feel like it's even more secure than proprietary software. And the reason being is, you know, as you know, open source software are being contributed by, you know, some of the best people, you know, uh, developers and other contributors in the world, right? So, you know, because there are so many eyes looking at the code, it's easy to fix, easy to catch, you know, security issues early in the cycle and fix it, right? And, you know, as you go forward, uh, you know, 
you know, versus proprietary where you have like, hey, limited number of folks, you know, just making sure uh, or testing it, making sure, you know, there are no security issues, right? Here, you know, projects I work, I mean, I've seen people from, from like different part of the world reporting the issue, right? Whether they are student, with, whether they're researcher, whether they are working for a company or just an individual, right? Like we just talk about somebody's trying to contribute, gain some visibility. They notice it, they would report it. Uh, all the good project I mentioned, right? Uh, with open governors, you know, uh, open foundations, at least the one that I worked, uh, they have something called uh, you know, product security committee, we call, or you know, just security committee, right? So it's a group of people they you know keep eye on the security issues and they fix it you know as soon as that's like always the highest priority right so you know because of this collaborative uh you know environment and 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 so many people can contribute uh, i always feel it's it's honestly more secure than any other way of you know developing a software you know, I cannot be more thankful to IBM and my management team, you know, when they put me on open source. And I say it's been 12 years. I've been with IBM for, for you know, a little over 20 years. And I'm very proud that, you know, for more than 12 years, I'm working on open source. Uh, it has helped me tremendously to grow my career, right? And personally, you know, with personal development as well. Um, I have worked on some of the, you know, all these latest technology technologies. You know, like I mentioned, OpenStack when it came out, uh, Kubernetes, right, which has become de facto cloud native platform. You know, etcd, which is a, a a core component of Kubernetes, uh, and you know many other products or offerings from different companies they use as in data store or PyTorch. Uh, and along with working on these technologies, right, uh, it has helped me to to make a huge network, you know, inside and outside IBM, right? You know, to know the perspective of folks from different companies, different institutes, right? Uh, folks from different part of the world, that is huge. You know, like I said, lots of learning, lots of collaboration, right? Uh, and, you know, it's a great feeling to, to, to do this development, uh, thinking that, hey, this is helping to the world, right? Uh, you know, and, and, and as part of this, you know, one of the best thing is I travel the world, you know, for, for all these years, I traveled to, you know, to, you name it, you know, many different parts of the world as part of whether it's open source, open source summit or open stack summit or KubeCon, uh, you know, or any other like, you know, different Linux foundation events, right? So, like I said, Open source has been one of the best things that happened to me at, uh, at you know, work. Yeah, I, I would highly recommend it to anybody. You know, in fact, I recommend it to my kids as well, right? You know, early they can start getting exposure. Um, it, it's actually, it, it's, it's pretty cool that my, my son, my younger son was in middle school. He came to me and he's like, hey, daddy, you know what? Uh, we learn about open source today. So, you know, that's good to see that in school they are, they are, you know, creating that awareness, right? But for, you know, folks coming out of college or in college, I think, you know, contributing to open source brings a lot of, lot of uh, advantage to, you know, their upcoming career, right? Building it. Uh, first, you know, it's like your, you know, part of your resume, right? You know, people can see it, right? What you've been doing. It's easy for folks to see all your, you know, great contributions you know, the, the pull request you create, right? You fix the problem. It's easy for folks to see. Um, and, and like I said, as part of that, it's, it provides a great networking opportunity, right? Because, you know, a lot of this, you know, good open source project or, uh, you know, what we call projects with open governance, right? That on github.com, you will see millions of projects, right? But not all of them, you, you don't wanna just randomly go contribute somewhere, right? You know, I think just do do a little bit of due diligence, right? Look at into the project, uh, uh, if it's part of some foundation, right? Uh, if it's having, uh, you know, good governance, right? Who are the contributors? You know, how many, uh, you know, open issues are there? Pull requests are there? Is it like in an active development or it, it is something like, you know, managed by or owned by like an individual, right? So just, just, you know, take a little look at that before you start contributing, make sure it's a project that, that is, you know, 
uh, worth to contribute, right? Um, and like I said, you will definitely reap a lot of benefits, you know, uh, and you helping the community, you know, I mean, that's the spirit of open source. 